hello there. If you like the video in the next two seconds, you're a legend, mate. And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on as well. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode five of the Berry Career Mode. Now, we are making some headway with this series now. Finally, there's some serious progress. We are in, I don't even know what round this is in the Carabao Cup, but we're pretty far now towards winning an actual English competition. The current squad hasn't really changed. Well, in fact, it hasn't changed. I've just left my game on since last episode. And of course, guys, if you're new around here, subscribe because that counter goes up when you do subscribe. Obviously, um, if you see it throughout this video going up in subscribers, that's probably because of you. But the most exciting prospect at Berry at the moment is Moretti. He is a 62 rated card already. Yeah, it's just good. By the end of the season, he's probably going to be about 70. The growth rate of this guy is ridiculous. Lavery and Beckford are the dream strike partnership. You guys already know this. Let's just crack on. We have some business to take care of, and that business is Blackpool. So let's go. Play match, home versus Blackpool. We've beaten Spurs, we've beaten Liverpool. What's a random team in orange capable of doing? Possibly, like what What can they possibly do? But I mean, our squad is looking pretty darn sick. Also, I didn't realize this, but somebody said that Danny Mayer actually has four star skills, which he does. Wow, didn't even realize that. Coming up next, Berry versus Blackpool. Now we are at home. So we definitely have the home advantage. On top of the fact that I am playing the game, should work out to be a victory. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Although we couldn't really beat Carlisle. An early, a quick start would be ideal. We get a goal early, then we can dictate the game. But the speed at which the AI are playing this round us is a little bit worrying. <laughs> this is named Dudu. Oh sorry, Tutu, he's in behind again. Can he find a whip? Oh, nearly on it. Defending all right, we're playing, uh oh. Oh my gosh, I thought that was flying in. All right, no more risks like that then. Uh, I mean, this is this is literally like, we're, we're trying to self implode here. Why is, uh, our passing just seems off, just seems off. Mayor, I wanna bring him on, so I'm gonna swap him out for Dan's. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Fosu have a little bit of, more of a run out. Second half then. They have kickoff, which I'm not a fan of, but we've won the ball back. And Nicky Adams is on the ball, who is always capable of magic. No way. Oh my gosh. Away. Good lad. Overlapping run. As expected. It's what he does. It's his bread and butter. Jermaine Beckford cannot quite find the green time. Pull it back. Oh, Fosu! Nicky Adams, can he find the cross? Beckford, no! Jermaine, I, oh, I would have put money on that going in. Oh, sorry, 2 2. Can he find a whip on his right? Finish! No, it's off the crossbar! Oh my god, what, what, what opportunity that was! Jermaine Beckford? Yes! Finish! No! How is this not going in? Ah, oh, man! That was such a good opportunity. It was off. Wait, it's straight to pens. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not confident with that. Oh, no. It's a penalty shootout to decide whether or not we go through. I've put it in the corner. The arrow is pointing in the corner. No, oh, my. Oh, I don't even know if this is like real life. Right, he's looking left, so I'm just hoping he's going to go left. He's gone right. How do you How do you take... Good penalty, Beckford. Well done, mate. We need a save here. Stop walking back. The computer is literally just toying with me at this point. He's going right. He's missed it. Oh! Good penalty, Lavery. All right, so both of our strikers have actually scored, which is ideal. I'm hoping this guy goes right again. Oh, he's gone down the middle. What? I can't work out where they're going. Lovely pen. Lovely pen, Mayor. All right, we've just got to hope that this goes right. It has! We've saved it! Come on! Oh, the drama! Right, we need to score this. It's Nicky Adams on the penalty. He scored! Nicky Adams is the hero! Give him the shush, boys! Ah, oh, we're shushing Blackpool! 
Get out of this competition, lads, because Berry FC are unstoppable in the Carabao Cup. Come on. What a penalty that is to finish. Nicky Adams brought him off the bench, composed. Captain's contribution once again takes us through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. And at this point, I've lost track of how many Carabao Cup games we've played. I don't know what round we're going through to on. <laughs> Lovely stuff. As we go into our office, I'd say that was a pretty good day at the office. Manager award received, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta have your cake. That doesn't, I don't know what I was trying to, I, I was gonna say something cool, it doesn't really make sense. But boys, look at me now. You all said I was trash at career mode, but read those words. Congratulations, Mr. McGee, you've won manager of the month. I should probably just end the video there, but unfortunately we actually have stuff to do. Play conversations, next transfer window, Vishal Keith wants to be loaned out. All right, and Galindo wants to play some more games. So we can put him in for Fosu, because Fosu is absolutely dead out on his legs. I'm happy with that for the time being. For the time being, I'm happy with that actually. O'Connell, you can come in for Wharton for a little bit. Save changes to the team sheet, absolutely. As I mentioned earlier, guys, the sub counter does go up through these videos. So if you do subscribe, you will see the counter go up. Next video, we are on a road to a million, as I constantly mention. Probably getting bored of it now. Our next game is against Macclesfield. We are first in the table, by the way. I didn't even realise that. Wow. I'm hoping for a Moretti goal here. A Moretti goal would be perfect. So simulate game. Narayan Das has come into the team. Macclesfield are on a winning streak as well. And they've played Carlisle, who we didn't even beat. Come on then, boys. Bury away from home after a cup victory on penalties as well. See if we can get a win on the road. Galindo scored after asking to be played. It's how the game goes, lads. These players that want to get involved, they turn up when they get the chance. 30 minutes left. And it's still 1-0. No late drama, and we've got all three points here. 2-0! Galindo with a brace! Oh my lord, maybe we should keep him in for a little longer. I'll tell you what's going to happen, is I'm going to advance, and then Galindo's going to go, thanks for playing me, boss. I scored twice. So if anything, I should be playing more. Yeah, don't get cheeky there, mate, because you just I've still given you the chance. It's my decision. Before we do anything else, though, I'm going to go to player development, simulate all... Nobody increased. That's a little bit disappointing. Emirates FA Cup. Oh, damn it. What do we have to get to? Domestic success. Reach a round of 32. So I have to play the Emirates FA Cup games. If I want to give the club a chance of getting to the round of 32, then really don't I? Okay, so we are at home, however, against Grimsby in the first round of the FA Cup. And because we're at home, I'm actually going to sim this game. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to beat Grimsby. So let's try and get the dob hit. Let's hope... Let's hope that Berry can do the business. First 20, nothing's happened. Come on, Berry. First half, nothing's happened. Beckford on. All right, that's a big change. Moretti on as well. Can either of the... Co Beckford's contributed with a goal. Oh, it's magic. It's magic. Jermaine Beckford carries us through cup competitions. I am telling you. I just knew as soon as I saw Beckford coming on for Maynard, there would be some positive change there. And indeed there was 1-0 to Berry. Oh, well that was easy. Now we're well on track. Look, we've gone from 71 to 79. Yeah, that's right, board. Know my worth, lads. Our nice has gone up. Moretti's so close to a 63 now as well. That's good news. That's good news. We've got youthful cams coming through. Great job with our youth program. Oh, so Moretti. Moretti is the reason why they're saying that we've done well because we've completed the youth thing. Fosu in for Galindo. Gonzalez has had his game. I'm pretty happy with. We've got 266 rated strikers now. Probably have for a little while, I just haven't noticed. Oh, we've got a few players that are on international duty, so we can bring Moretti in, Galindo in for Adams. I think that's the guy that was asking about being played. Dan's onto the bench for Gonzalez. I think I'm happy with that team though. Actually, I'm going to put Beckford at the top. The rest of the team I'm very happy with. Our next fixture is home to Stevenage. Stevenage in the table are 15th. So there's quite a disparity there between us and them. This would be a big loss if we end up losing this, but I'm confident considering they've only won one of their last three games and we're on a bit of a Bit of a winning streak. Jermaine Beckford's back in the team as the number nine as well. He's not coming off the bench this time. 
fingers crossed he can produce, or anyone, Moretti, Beckford, Fossu, whoever wants to contribute, I'm more than happy to accept your contributions in goals and or chocolate. But Nicky Adams, the captain, has just shushed both of them. And, oh, okay, it's equalized, but you know, main Beckford's been taken off. Maynard contributing would be pretty dope. Late in the game, last 10, is anything gonna happen? It's 2-1, Wharton with an 89th minute goal. Oh my gosh. It must have been a corner. There's no way he's going to score a goal from open play. Well, for, not from a set piece, considering he's a centre back. I'm not bothered how we get victories, so long as we get the three points. Magic. Set players for training again. Hopefully Moretti goes to a 63 now. Of course he goes to a 63. And Foss, who's gone to a 69. Wow, that A has sent him flying there. I'm going to advance and just leave the squad as is. We're away versus Cambridge. Cambridge, I can't remember where they are in the table. I think they're kind of near the bottom. They're 22nd out of 24. So I have a feeling that regardless of this being away, we should play, well, we should sim it anyway. As the squad stands, more than happy to keep it as is. Fossu's now a 69. Moretti's now a 63. Nicky Adams just keeps on scoring. You can't stop the guy. Have people come back from international break? Yes, they have. So Quinones can come back to his rightful spot as first team keeper. We're away from home to Cambridge which isn't necessarily an easy fixture. It could be a slip up. Come on, Barry. We're doing well. It must be the blue hair, guys. It's the blue hair. It's bringing the, the luck. Nothing happening so far, though, which is, ah, oh, Cambridge have scored in the first half. Now we've got to come back, boys. It's all about the character, the character of Barry. That's what we're talking about, Lavery. Can we get a late goal to clinch victory? No, they got a late goal. Lamb got a brace and it means we've lost the game that is three points dropped on the road to Cambridge. Why is it that all the bottom teams are the ones that are the hardest to play? Oh, that's annoying, man. I'm gonna simulate all of these. Moretti, halfway to a 64. Onyze is so long, on the brink of 61. Man, that's that's annoying. We're still first. We're still first. Carl um, Forest Green must have lost as well. Please say we're at home. All right, we're home to Cheltenham. How's the squad looking? Oh, a little bit tired. Beckford, drop out for Maynard. O'Shea for Moretti. Everybody else I'm kind of confident with. Galindo, you can have a little shot at Cam for this game. Just for this game. Home to Cheltenham. They've lost two of their last three. Not on the greatest of form, but we've lost our last game. Oh, first minute, May has got a goal. What? I've not seen that before ever on career mode in the very first minute, but now we've got to hold on to the victory. 2-0, that is ideal. Thompson, it's got to be another corner. There's no other suggestion as to how he scored that. Looking pretty safe. I can't imagine they're going to score two goals in the last 10. It's 3-0, McFadden. 3-0 at home is exactly the kind of confidence boost that we needed. Now, the next game is the quarterfinals. All right, let's advance. It's against Bournemouth as well. Another Premier League fixture. Whoa, what? Figueroa's pulled a groin. It's only seven days though. We've got Bournemouth next game. Figueroa's one of our best players. In fact, he might be our highest rated player. Don't do this to me. Simulate all. Moretti's a 64. Magic. Also, Tutu's now a 60. Shout out the boy. Uh, but I can't really replace either McFadzine or Nicky Adams because... McFadden's playing really well. Nicky Adams is just Nicky Adams. So our players are actually going up. It must be the form. They're enjoying playing at Berry. And what can I say? That's the that's the impression I give up. Now we have a serious game on our hands. The quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. If we win this, we're into the semis. And that's big prize money, I reckon, for a League Two team like us. This is the lineup that we're gonna take into the Bournemouth game. Quinones, Adams, Wharton, Thompson, McFadden, Rossiter, Mayer, Gonzalez, Galindo, Maynard, Lavery. Can we get the victory? We've beaten Spurs. We've beaten Liverpool. Bournemouth in comparison to those Premier League teams aren't as big. I've worked out from that training that they have Trent Alexander-Arnold. So maybe the Bournemouth team's actually pretty decent. But here we go. Quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. I have no clue about two of the Bournemouth players that I've seen so far pop up. I literally don't recognise either of their names. They're playing with the intensity of a Premier League team already, which has put us under a lot of pressure to start with. Nicky Adams has kind of half dealt with it. We're very good at half... Oh, he's injured. He's injured? Not like this. Oh, mate. Nicky Adams, he's injured, but he still won that ball. That is unreal determination. Galindo. Galindo! Oh, he's in the ball! 
No, that was your chance. He's on the stretch. I appreciate that, but all he's got to do is just pop it over the keeper, and that's 1-0. Nice. Nice. Galindo, can he find Lavery? He can. Lavery's got to keep the ball here. Finds Nicky Adams. Nicky Adams with a great ball in. No, nobody's won the header. He's here again. He's on the overlap. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Look at him. Put a ball in. That's a good ball. It's such a good ball. He is so good. This Nicky Adams is the best card slash player on career mode. Hands down. What a cross this is, man. Oh, it's, I can't believe how good he is. I mean, that's a great finish from Lavery, but you expect him to score that considering the form he's had over the past two episodes. Nicky Adams, I cannot fault this, this player at all. He was injured in, in, in the first five minutes. He's come back from injury in the game and putting in crosses like that and winning balls like that. Like, what? You just, you cannot fault the guy. You really can't. Lovely ball. Nicky Adams has got a chance to cross it again. That's a great cross again. Oh my gosh, how has Begovic saved that? That is a ridiculous save. And that ends half time. Man of the match performance from the captain by a country mile. That's a good goal. That's a really good goal. We've not blocked the cross, uh, the shot, sorry. Oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. Lavery's got there. What a finish, Lavery! Oh my gosh! That was, a, that was literally a hit and hope through ball. And somehow, Conan Lavery's got there and finished superbly green timed past Begovic. What a goal that is. Proper strikers finished that. Held off the defender with L2 and then bang. Absolutely. Look at the whip on that from such a short distance. That's the end of the game. And we've done it again, boys. Premier League teams are no match for Bury FC. I am telling you, this is unreal. Oh, beautiful stuff. Through to the next round again. We just can't stop winning. I'm telling you, lads, it's got to be the hair. The hair in combination with the team. It's just a, it's a recipe for success. Southampton beat Luton in the other quarterfinal. So that puts us through to the semi-finals now, and the semi-finalists are West Ham, Doncaster, Bury, and Southampton. All teams that we are capable of beating if we play the games. We could win the Carabao Cup here, boys. We could win it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next game we have coming up is against Fleetwood in the FA Cup. Now, because the FA Cup is such an important competition for us in terms of our objectives and our domestic success then I think I'm gonna have to play the game now because I've played a lot of games already in this episode I'm gonna end the episode there because we are now semi-finalists in the Carabao Cup which is absolutely incredible from Berry so far as always guys if you're enjoying the series please leave it a like leave any suggestions you have in the comments subscribe if you're new around here because that counter goes up when you do thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon Adios.